Rudy Giuliani has lost a defamation case that was brought against him by two Georgia election officials, Ruby Freeman and Wandrea R. Shea Moss, or Shea Moss. And uh, this is good. We want to see as much accountability as possible for the lies that were told about and the damage that was done to people such as Ruby Freeman and Wandrea R. Shea Moss. And... Uh, this has to do with claims that Rudy Giuliani made and Trump and many others about these two individuals who were Georgia election officials during the 20 or election workers, I should say, during the 2020 presidential election. And there was this whole conspiracy theory about how they were handing around a flash drive. It turned out to be a stick of gum or something. And they were doing voter fraud and they were a part of the conspiracy to steal the election for Biden. As might shock you, didn't turn out to be true. And uh, these individuals had their lives turned upside down because of these lies. And now, because of Giuliani's unwillingness to participate in the discovery process, he's lost by default. And he'll have to pay what will be decided by a jury a certain amount in fees. We don't know exactly what that will be yet, but already he has some legal fees. As Business Insider reports, former New York mayor, uh, Rudy Giuliani automatically lost a federal defamation lawsuit brought by two election workers after the judge found that he failed to turn over evidence in the case. He was also slapped with a $132,000 bill for illegal fees, adding yet another financial headache for the former New York mayor as he faces a slew of criminal and civil lawsuits related to his personal life, business dealings, and his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. U.S. District Judge Beryl Howell didn't miss words in her 57-page ruling in the defamation lawsuit saying she was handing Giuliani an automatic loss because he failed to turn over discovery evidence in the case. A jury will decide how much he will pay in damages to the election workers in addition to the sanction. So he lost. They'll decide how much financially. And Salon reports uh, Rudy Giuliani lists Manhattan apartment for sale amidst pricey legal woes and uh things are just falling apart financially ruinous these fees could be or the damages he'll have to pay out could end up being for him which it's not to cheer on political enemies being financially crushed but instead in this situation real damage was done to their lives and threats were made to their lives and so many different things and at some point we should have a process to hold people accountable for that. And that's what this is. And as a reminder, here's a clip I've shown in the past from the January 6th Select Committee where they brought in Ruby Freeman to speak about the damage that was done with the lies. I've lost my name and I've lost my reputation. I've lost my sense of security. All because a group of people starting with number 45 and his ally, Rudy Giuliani, decided to scapegoat me and my daughter, Shay, to push their own lies about how the presidential election was stolen. We're just gonna play the tape. There is nowhere I feel safe, nowhere. Do you know how it feels to have the president of the United States to target you? And all for putting themselves forward to participate in our democracy and allow our democracy to continue to function because of the work of people like Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. And what they got for that service was uh, defamatory lies told about them. And their lives turned upside down. And their name... Uh, dragged through the mud, conspiracy theories about them, really wild ones. As I said, it turned out they were handing like a stick of gum or I think it was a stick of gum and or a mint or something. And that got turned into on some grainy footage. They're handing a flash drive that's going to flip Trump votes to Biden votes or something absurd. So when you hear those wild conspiracy theories and see some grainy footage, often that's actually what's going on is something completely reasonable and uh, that's why when Rudy Giuliani would go into court he would have to say well, I don't exactly have evidence of the things I'm saying but also Trump should stay president for some reason 
really ridiculous. Good to see some accountability. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.